Brooks, that's nothing new in this game. The teams will have to contend with it in the second half. Now, over the years, this game has featured some of the best athletes to ever play Division II football. Names like Bentram, Satter, and Hansen for the Bison, and guys like Kovash, Witkowski, and Brunel for the Sioux. But this year is no different. Great athletes on both sides of the ball, but maybe none of those guys makes a bigger impact on his team than does All-American Bison linebacker Sean Fredericks. When third and short, you want him to come at you. And uh, you want a lead block coming at you so you can nail him. You want another back uh, coming at you to block you so you can, you can nail him. And then you want to take on the running backs. You, you have to have the mentality that you want him to come at you. And uh, that's what toughness is to me. And it, it just means that uh, no matter what's going on around you, you're going to step up and make the play. In Jamestown, Sean learned a lot of lessons about football, especially how hard work and dedication can pay off. Some of those lessons came from watching a teammate named Darren Erstad. But it was just good for me to be around him because he was such a great athlete. And, and uh, it was just good to be around a guy with a work ethic like he had, even though he had all the talent in the world. And, uh, Bison won the toss and deferred. The Sioux will get the ball to start the second half. As you see, yes, the wind has picked up. The forecast was right. It is coming in from the northwest. And a squib kick by Ken Johnson, and the ball is loose, and the Bison may have it. Yes, they do. They say they do. We have yet to see official word from the men in the stripes. And yes, it is NDSU's ball. The Bison leading 14 to 7. And that's Nino Zeza in motion. Feeney with the pitch to Jake Morris. Has some room on the right and gets about 9 to 10 yards on the first carry on the stats. Really kind of even. I know Roger Thomas probably a little disappointed in the rush yards for the University of North Dakota. Penalties not listed. The Sioux had three penalties for 33 yards. The Bison, no penalties. Morris again on second down. And that will be a first down for NDSU as it'll be spotted at the 40, just shy of the 40, at the 43-yard line of UND. Well, we heard Babich at the end of the first half say they're going to run the football. They're going to let the Rams win this football game for North Dakota State. Plus, the Bison are now going into the win, so you may not see Kevin Feeney throw the football very much in this quarter. Morris again. Morris slipping through, and Morris may be on his way. Jake Morris stopped by Mike Henneberg at the UND six-yard line. Well, Jake Morris in the offseason bulked up to 205, and he is running like a fullback. First and goal from the six. Cheddar in motion. Feeney cuts it in himself, and he is... So it'll be second and goal from the five. Morris passing 117 yards. Averaged four yards a carry in the first half. Morris again, and he'll pick up a few. And Jake Morris, by the way, is on pace to become the all-time leading rusher in Bison football history. He needs to pass four players, and they're four biggies. Chad Stark, Jeff Bentram, Tony Satter, and Chris Simdorn. He needs to average about 115 yards a game to do it. Third down from the two. Feeney alone. Touchdown. It's a 20 to 7 Bison lead. To try the point after, and it is good. The Bison with a 21 to 7 advantage in Grand Forks with 11:48 to go in the third quarter. You're watching it on the North Dakota ABC network. To Chris Schrantz. This time it goes to Fall, and the Bison may have relaxed a little bit. Fall showing some speed here at a great alley to run through, and Albert Gibson. Nothing doing there. Philip Moore stopped by Howdy Lawler, trying to follow the block of fullback Mike Hayes. 
But the senior from Watford City prevents Phillip from breaking a big one here. We've got 10-13 to go. Gates in motion. Blancher looking again, nowhere to go, and the Bison wrap him up. Ryan Truax, number 91. From the turf, he picks hold. himself. Allen with only one make this year, and there's number two. The Sioux gets something out of it, not what they wanted, but it is now 21 to 10 in favor of NDSU. 8.15 remaining in the third quarter. This is NCC football on the North Dakota. Most of them, in fact, say, how dare they change that Bison uniform. Oh, it's, it's the thing to do in the 90s. Everybody seems to be going black. And Jake Morris goes for a first down here. He appears to have it. Bison up 21-10. We've got seven minutes left, third quarter. Feeney keeps on the option. And the Sun trying to peek out again here. Sue with the win at their backs. 5.23 left third quarter, first and 10. And Plancher wants to put it up. He's got Mike Haves, juggles it, intercepted by McKinnon. And he's tripped up at the 20, down to the 15 of North Dakota. Jeff McKinnon. And that gets Casey Bradley excited as the Bison sets more points. That's a turnover the Bison have been looking for. When they get him, they can win football games. This is a nice pass by Kevin Clancher. Haves has it in his hands, but always Johnny on the spot. Sean Fredericks knocks it loose. Here comes Jeff McKinnon. And well, about the same spot of the field, Israel Moses picked off a pass a few years ago. They'll spot it at the 16. And the Bison threatening to pad their 21 to 10 lead. Only the second interception. Oh, there's a loose ball. And Feeney chasing after it. It'll roll out of bounds and stay in possession of the Bison. Torrance will punt. This time the Sioux have one man back, Chris Schrantz. And it goes out of bounds and Torrance is down. The Bison coaches next door. University of North Dakota and they must have got a piece of John Torrance. They, oh boy. That's Steve said it was intentional or if he just rolled into him. Philip Moore gets hung up there. Clint Gelstad, the linebacker out of Velva, North Dakota, making the tackle. The Sioux have three minutes and 19 seconds now with the wind at their back. And look, Gelstad just comes from the outside that time and beats Joe Bailey. Plancher, he's gonna keep it and Plancher is in trouble. Howdy Lawler tracks him down. And with us on our pregame show, you heard Randy Hedberg, the offensive coordinator, say, we know that any time Moore gets the ball, he could score. Well, the Bison haven't let him today. Phillip going straight ahead. And Sean Fredericks, the All-American out of Jamestown, limiting that game to a few. Last year, walking through the athletic halls at North Dakota State, a famous Green Bay Packer assistant coach, Red Cochran, was there looking at some tape. and. Happened to run into him and introduce myself. He said, you boys got a player here who can really tackle. I said, let me guess. You're talking about Sean Fredericks. He said, yes, sir. Fred Cochran coached with Vince Lombardi for Green Bay. Fredericks has had a terrific career. Now, third and five. Plancher throwing it away. Morris. Gets a couple to the 30. And that'll do it for quarter number three. 15 minutes to go. Our score is North Dakota State 21, North Dakota 10 in Grand Forks. The Sioux trying to stay unbeaten, but time is running out. We'll have the finish after this.